This is TJ with Tech Made Easy. Welcome to the channel. My channel is all about making things affordable, practical, and easy. And what we're going to talk about today is high efficiency USB drives. Now, this USB drive is a typical USB drive. We're talking 10 to 20 megabytes reads and writes per second, depending on the brand, how old it is. This one right here, this reads at almost 400 megabytes per second. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the five different options that you give you read writes starting at 400 megabytes up to 2200 megabytes per second. Um, and why would you want to do that? Again, it might be that you, you need fast access to a file or something that's outside your computer. So um, maybe you're going to run an operating system. And uh, this, this is a thing. These are not good for running, say, a Linux or TrueNAS operating system on. This one is, and I'll show you, and I'll show you other options. In fact, this little USB, I run Windows 10, and this whole presentation is going to be done off of this USB, running Windows off of this. And, and I have a video coming up that's going to show you how to make a USB drive with Windows 10 or 11. The thing that's really cool about that software, you can also, once you create that drive, you can use an NVMe or an SSD and you just pop it in your system and Windows is installed. It's pretty slick. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and go over these five drives. Now, what got me into these faster drives and more reliable drives, and this is one thing, these drives are not very reliable. This drive is way more reliable along with some of the other ones that I'm going to show you. What got me into this is about 15 years ago I got into TrueNAS. Well, at that time everybody was running true NAS off a thumb drive and we're talking thumb drives like this and I'm like whoa whoa wait a minute I'm not running an operating system off of a cheapo thumb drive like this that thing isn't going to last and that was what was happening because a lot of their people's true NAS thumb drives were getting corrupt so what I found back then and they weren't very popular back then I found a hybrid SSD thumb drive and it worked great it's still functioning today in one of my servers so let's take a look at these options and see which one fits best for you. Let's get started. All right, so here we are at my Windows desktop, and like I said, I am running Windows from this USB drive right here. Uh, this is a Samsung drive. It's one of the drives I'm going to go over. Um, so right now, let's just go ahead and let's look at the speed comparisons of all five drives. Here are the five drives. Now, you're going to notice on here there are six. But the reason why I have six is because both of these drives here, these thumb drives on the right, they're both Samsung, and they both have the same performance. And I don't know why they make both of them. Um, but I, I actually use both of them. Um, I, I have what's uh, called RescueZilla on this one. And on this one, I might use Linux or, or my Windows that I'm running right now for this desktop here. Um, great drives. And so this is what I mean, too, is they're, they're going to be a lot more reliable than your typical USB drive as well. So you could run, say, TrueNAS um, off of these. Now, me personally, I like to use something like this. If I'm going to run TrueNAS on, um, it's kind of an SSD hybrid. And, and years ago when I found, I, mean, I want to say it's about 15 years ago when I, when I first did uh, free NAS, um, like I said, these weren't that popular, but I did find one that was 32 gigabytes. You, you can't get them that small anymore. Uh, just like anything, um, they actually start at a bigger size. So if you're going to run, say, uh, true NAS with this, yeah, you're going to waste a lot of hard drive space. But the reliability of it's there, and it's not that expensive as well and I'm going to go over the price of all these as soon as we're done I'm going to, and I'm going to show you the speed test even though um, like everything you know they all say they read and write at certain speeds but we're going to take a look at, uh, at crystal disk here in a minute so um, and this one has I think a read speed of 500 and, and write speed of 450 and then of course your typical SSD now I do this all the time in fact I, I actually have uh, old 120 gigabyte SSD and I have Ventoy on that if you don't know what Ventoy is it allows you to put a whole bunch of operating systems on and then you boot that up and then you can choose whatever operating system you're going to install and so that's how I use this and I only use this just because I don't have any other use for this SSD and so I just put Ventoy on there and a whole bunch of ISOs um, and I'll go over the adapter here these adapters they really start at eight bucks 
and then then we have NVMEs. Now, the reason why I have two NVMEs here is because these enclosures have two different speeds. So um, this enclosure, uh, which is typical, will give you uh, 10 gigabit throughput. Um, where this enclosure is up to f um, on the very left here is 40 gigabit. Now these enclosures here uh, for the 10 gigabit they start about uh, they. They start about $15, depending on the brand that you buy, up to $25, $30. Bucks. And then these ones here, this is the whole thing. If you're going to do Thunderbolt, and this is a Thunderbolt uh, drive or adapter, um, they, they're going to run you uh, a lot of money. So, I mean, this one is $90. Bucks, and unfortunately, the Thunderbolt PCI slot that I, or PCI card I, I bought, it was the wrong one. And so I wasn't able to test the speed on this, but I'm going to leave two links of, of two YouTubers that just did uh, these uh, Thunderbolt enclosures only and tested the speeds on those. So sorry about that, but I will leave those links below. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the speed of all these through with Crystal Disk. Okay, so I'm showing these speeds here because this is your typical USB drive, that one that I held up. You'll see here on one of these, you're talking read speed of 15, right, of, of, of 13. And then on this one, a read, a read speed of 25 and a write speed of almost, almost 14. So I just wanted to give you a base of where we're starting at. All right, before we look at those speed tests, I just want to show you here um, this uh, USB drive that I made that I'm running Windows off of. Not only did I make that, but I also cleaned it up because it's just a rescue disk. I don't need all the apps and everything on there. And I'm going to show how to get rid of all of your unnecessary apps uh, when you make that uh, that boot up USB for Windows, and you'll notice here on the on the right that I got 149 processes working here, but on my USB, and this is when I initially installed it, but after running a few utilities, now I only have 73 processes, and so, and you're gonna look at the threads and handles. Um, on the one that I cleaned up, and I look at the threads and handles over here, especially the handles, we're talking 60,000, and over here it's um, 37,000. So I just wanted to clean that, that USB drive up as much as possible. So uh, go ahead and subscribe and like the video uh, to get more content. But let's just go ahead and look at our uh, speeds here. So this one on the bottom right, um, you'll notice here it's a C drive. That is the USB, that small Samsung USB drive. So I'm getting a write speed of almost 65, but a read speed of 391. Um, and that is great. I mean, it is, it's, it's just awesome. I also use the same Samsung drive and run a Linux operating system on it as well. But then let's just go ahead and look at our hybrid here. Our hybrid, and I'm, I only ran the first test on these. Um, I wasn't going to run them all the way through. So, um, and th But this gives you a good idea. And, and, and I think these are the read and write speeds that most of the manufacturers are going by as well. So uh, this particular one here, this is the hybrid, and it, it gets uh, 428 gigs read speed. Now it, it said 500, so you know, I mean, it could vary, I don't know, on the system. Um, and uh, and uh, 234 write speed. That is, that is really good though, that is great. So now let's look at the SSD, and the SSD would be typical. Most USDs have a read and write speed, and I don't know why the read speed's less than the write speed. Um, but now we'll let's take a look at the NVMe, and we're looking at uh, 10 gigabit or 1,000 uh, megabytes read and write speed, um, which is typical with those enclosures. So um, what I want to do right now is I want to talk about the pricing really quick. So as far as on this one, you'll it's uh, $30 and again $30 is not that bad especially if you're going to run an operating system on this like TreeNAS or FreeNAS and it, who knows it, it'll last for, like I said I'm still running mine after probably 15 years which is kind of amazing um, and uh, and and you'll notice here that they have 450 or 500 you know everything it's not quite what they say it is but it could be my system too so I don't, I don't squawk about little differences like that, so it's a very little difference. Um, so now let's go ahead and look at the Samsung. And so we're talking for this one here, it's $17. This one here, it is $18. And I don't know why, again, there is the difference here um, with these two drives, because I use them both, I've tested them both, they perform the same. 
have no clue. So the other adapters and everything, I'll have links to those in the description. So really quick here, there are lots of options when you when you turn to these drives. One of the things that I did is, is because I run Linux, I wanted to go to a different distro, but I didn't want to just install it right away. And running running things in a VM, you know, you need to run them on, on bare metal if, if, if that's something that you're going to do. You, have, you can mess around with a VM with it just to see how you like it. So I threw this on an NVMe with a USB adapter so I could run it from the USB drive. So I didn't have to replace my other drive until I was ready. And once I did that and I liked, it, liked the operating system, then bam, I just swapped out and put in that operating system. But it's a great way for you to try out Linux. It's a great way for you, let's say you haven't tried Windows 11 yet and you know you're gonna have to up, uh, upgrade to it eventually. You could throw Windows 11 on one of these USB drives and try it out. Um, and be sure to click and like so that you have the video coming up. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that there are options with USB drives depending on what your needs are. This is TG with Tech Made Easy. Have a great day. Thanks. Now that was easy peasy.